So I'm about to save you so much money for your team. My name's Greg, you're watching How to Play Paintball. All right guys, so this is gonna be pretty quick. Uh, so this is a video that, um, I wish I had actually done this earlier. This is definitely something that's gonna save you a good amount of money and that is Allen keys. Uh, so Greg, what the heck, I already have Allen keys. What I'm talking about is especially when you are playing X-Ball or really any any type of paintball, really, you need your Allen keys for, uh, for the Chrono Station, right? This is something that gets lost all the time. So what I've done, and actually I kind of stole this idea from, uh, from Pops, who uh, helps out with damage. Um, he actually used an antler. He made his look really cool. Mine doesn't look as cool. But uh, basically what you're doing is you're going to go and buy a, your Allen key. So for us, for MacDev, it's a, a 1 8 uh, Allen key. So I already know that I what size I need for the velocity adjustment. Uh, if you have a team that has multiple different types of guns, I think most of the time they, they are pretty similar, so you can see which ones are the same. And then you might just need to make a couple of these, but this is seriously gonna save your team a lot of money. What I did was go and buy the kind of screwdriver version of the Allen key. Uh, what I did then is go and get a, uh, a drill. So you're gonna drill through the plastic handle, and then you're going to, uh, what I used is actually a uh, a lanyard that has a loop instead of a ring. I guess if you had a ring that was strong enough, uh, this, this wood would still work. And then once I, I looped it through, or like I said, you could use a ring, I just decided to take some grip tape uh, for like my tank and wrap it around so that way it's just holding it even more so that way it's not gonna, not gonna pop off. Um, so what, what's the point of doing this? We literally had it at World Cup. I can't, I can't tell you how many Allen keys our Allen key sets I have that don't have the 1 8 Allen key in there because I lent it to someone and then you never get it back. <laughs> or you, uh, like I, literally at World Cup I did this where I had to adjust my, my chrono or adjust my, my gun to, uh, to be in the correct chrono range. And I just had to throw it and run out onto the field. And the issue is that it's a black Allen key. Even if it's a silver one, this can be more difficult to find it gets in the grass or it gets on the, the netting or whatever, and now you've lost it. So now you are one Allen key short. What this is gonna solve is it's on a lanyard. So we have one person that is assigned in the pit. They are the keeper of the key. They have this around their neck. So all they have to do is take it off, give it to the person. I like using the ballpoint just because you don't have to make it where it's like perfectly going into the, uh, uh, the, the adjustment for the velocity. You can kind of go at a little bit of an angle. So again, if you're running and trying to adjust it real quick, it's, it's gonna be a lot easier and a lot quicker. So this is there. So that way, let's say it was that situation at World Cup where I needed to adjust real quick and then I throw it. This red is gonna stand out a lot and it's a larger Allen key. So it's something that isn't gonna get lost very easily. All I need to do is, is even if I throw it, that person that's the keeper of the key can then hold on to it, put their, take their lanyard and, uh, and put it on. This is a very simple thing that is gonna save you guys a lot of money. Uh, it really just comes down to that. It's something that I wish that I had done earlier. Like I said, uh, Pops on damage, he actually had like a deer antler and like drilled it out and put it in there. So that way it's just something, again, that you're not gonna lose. This is an expense that just going and buying, yeah, it might only be $2 or whatever, but when you have to keep buying them all the time, that starts eating up into a budget. That's not something that's gonna be good for your team. You wanna have it where you have as much money to go to practice and to tournaments as possible. So that way you're not wasting money on simple things that are a very easy fix. So spend a little bit extra, get this type of Allen key, and then uh, all you need to do is just drill it. Just find someone that has a drill. They can do it at their house. It's very simple. Again, you loop it through. I used the, uh, the loop lanyard instead of the, the key ring. If the key ring works for you, I'm not saying this is the only way to do it. Just loop it on through. And then now you have something that is not going to get lost. Unless you throw this out in the garbage, you're not gonna lose this. So guys, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this helps you out. I know this is one of those things that like, this is a very simple solution to something that a lot of us spend money on. Like I don't wanna go spend a whole bunch of money 
on uh, on Allen keys and extra things that I don't that I, I shouldn't lose, you know. So uh, it's just going to save you guys money, even if you just want to have this for yourself. So that way, you know, go and get like a neon yellow one, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's still going to be saving you money. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video. But as always, remember, watch, learn, win. Thanks. Thank you.